In the previous films, we've been following this line up from Ashchurch, and we're north of Evesham now. Not always as easy as you might think to find these uh, places. When you're trying to stay on the black stuff, miss all the idiots on the road and look for signs. Can be a bit fraught, but we have a system. These are the sort of notes that you have to uh, manage with when you're self-navigating. There has to be an easier way. We make a start on the side by side and locate the actual station. Then we go on to the Google Earth side and look for the nearest business. Well, this one's right there. So then we go on to Google Maps. So we find the nearest business then adjacent to the station. Uh, study self storage will, uh, will do it. We then go to their website, pick up the postcode, pop them in the sat nav. And in theory, Molly the sat nav takes you right to the station, more or less. Well, that's the um, that's the basic idea. We've not tried it out yet. Let's uh, let's go give that a go. Oh, here's our Sester station. And using the new technique, we look for business and uh, wander off down there which Google Maps tells us is a new housing estate. So if we get right on that bend there, the station's right in front of us. It's going to be easy, isn't it? I'm on this Fender Station Road in that magnificent building. Look at that. I don't know what it was. It's now just an ordinary business. The detail on it is amazing. A glorious restoration, I reckon. This is the view then down Station Road. As you can see, not very hopeful now. Eh? The um, actual station is right on the bend, just up here. Let's go take a look. Right here, then a mixture, old and modern. All you see on the left hand side is modern. On well, the extreme right, it's the original building. How do I know that? Just a look. Just a... There you go, with a nice lantern as well. Station one to find there, that was easy. And there's the old bit. Slightly different angle. Delivered. Hello. Hello. Right. I don't see anything to be seen anywhere else, but if there is, it'll be down here. Some leads behind the buildings, if you like. Well, there's a green space. That's where the railway would have been. And what have we got here? I haven't come for walking on mud today. Didn't expect to find this on a housing estate. This was round in a circle. Zip. There's a big wall in the way. Looking in the other direction, this huge green space, which would have been something to do with the railway at one point, stations behind me. Uh, quite what is now lost, I'm afraid. We'll give Molly the sat nav 10 out of 10 for that one. The next one's a bit of a challenge. Well, there then is Cuffton Station. There's a kink in the road. There's probably a dwelling there, I reckon. Anyway, that gives us a clue. Station 
it's just down here on the right. Chance to stop in pretty grim. Something through there. And once again. Well, that's two so far. That's pretty good. Let's go back and look at that turning. If I can get it uh, spun around here. See if I can find park up. If not, we're off to the next one. Well, a quick look, see if we find the railway. We're not parked very uh, handily on this corner at the moment. If I look over here. And down there amongst that mass, that's the railway line, quite low down. Must have been a bridge over here, I reckon, for the road. And swinging about. That's the other side. So we can take a look at that. I'm parked in a rather soft verge, so I'm hoping I'm getting out of this alive. It all depends on what the camera decides to focus on, doesn't it? Hmm. Well... All you can say about that is it's in there somewhere. Okay, station two dealt with as good as we're going to get then. Move on. Well, I can't see through here what the camera's focusing on, but hopefully it's uh, showing you the line of the railway. Off to our next venue. She's steadily. For this one we've had to stop in a rather grotty lay-by by the side of these things. Hope we're safe there. And this road is actually on about just about the line of the railway. And the industrial units are right alongside it. So, so go and see what you can find, Job. Looking back that way towards Cuffton then, line of the hedge tells you the line of the railway. As it gets here, the railway swept around, and they took the road straight on for obvious reasons. And if you look over here, up at Cuffton Road, now that's an interesting building. Take a look. If that's not a railway, I should eat my hat. There we go. Three out of three. Get a better look. That's probably the best angle. That's marvellous, isn't it? Put them in the waiting rooms, I suppose, farther on down. Well, that's brilliant. Not quite sure about that, but there you go. Chimney's kind of gave it away. Just a quick peek at the platform side. I'm sure they won't mind. Right, well we won't intrude anymore. So if we find anything else well, railway related. Right on with the show. Well, we're parked up on this rather narrow, uninviting road. It runs alongside the railway. And there, what is now holding the tree up, it looks like our two props, which are railways. Concrete straining posts. Off down here is a cycle path, which I'm hoping follows the actual track of the rail bed. This could be good. This could be a rescue job. If I'm not mistaken, we're now on the railway. Good. Opposite direction stops with the hedge and it goes into residential. 
Okay, we'll wander off here and see what we can look, see what we can find. Quite a few concrete posts. We're climbing quite well. But I think we're heading for a bridge. There's okay, one down here, so hopefully we'll be seeing it. In fact, we've hardly come any distance at all, and we're already on quite an embankment. Another straining post, and a couple more posts, all with plain wire, railway wire. The green railings mark the parapet of the old bridge. The original structure a bit low for uh, pedestrian or cycle use. Nice design though. On the opposite side a bit more plain. Yeah, be nice to get down there. Yeah, substantially engineered you have to say. Suffering the usual problem with uh, railroad bridges. Lovely coping stones on the buttresses. And a decorative end piece. That one's had a bit of a rough life by the look of it. And that one's been buried by years and years of mudslides and goodness knows what. Superb, right. Will this life of limb come through here? Probably nothing comes certainly down the road. That's pretty. Good. Made it just spin around and show you from this end. There, that's the shot I think. Look at that. Pretty. Eighteen hundreds engineering. Perfect. Okay. We're now gonna wander alongside the embankment on our way back. Car's still there. Shouldn't have parted it there to be honest because I think that's part of a passing place but the road didn't look that narrow so I think that's probably fair. We're now walking alongside the embankment. It looks like it was built up purely to get over this road. One off down there. That looks quite remarkable. The concrete posts at the side here aren't just plain uh, concrete posts. They're shaped. They've got a rounded top and chamfered edges. Plain railway wire, of course. So, oh, blimey. Must be a high-class railway. Straining post, a little bit ordinary. Look at this bolt in here, look. What was this world like when that was being tightened up? The guy that did his long, long gone, you'd think. Right, sun's gone in, I'm heading for home. Nice trip. I've got enough here to make some sort of a film worth watching. Let's see when we get in the editing room. So what do we make of uh, Stations by Satnav? Well, the only one that took us directly to the spot was the first one, Station Road. Uh, the others get you to the general area because it's difficult, isn't it, to uh, map read and drive a vehicle these days. We used to do it years ago, mine. Anyway, that's uh, proving difficult. And this is a safer option, is to let the sat-nav get you to the general area, but then you have to have an idea of what you're looking for from there. You've got to done some research to know the general layout to find the stations. If you do that, as we've uh, shown today hopefully, uh, you can actually dig them out, find the station houses. I suppose this railway is uh, good for that from that point of view really because the houses are so well built that they've been utilised and modernised, whereas I suppose some of the places are a little bit sort of 
not user friendly for living in. Uh, they've been knocked down, so if you reach a bare site, you're in trouble. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that exciting day out. It's a bit short on uh, material, but never mind, it's a nice day out. And uh, if you enjoyed that, plenty more on my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.